All right, y'all, what's up? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I gave up. Uh, I got myself back in the bed. <laughs> I tried to do some videos today at my desk and just was not feeling it. So here we are in the bed. <laughs> this is going to be a reading for Pisces dealing with Sagittarius. Pisces dealing with Sagittarius, Holy Spirit, angels and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high, you are welcome into this reading for the Pisces dealing with a Sag. We're going to be doing four cards from the Rebel deck, four cards from the Hidden Truth. Oracle will jump into your tarot reading and close it out. A few more oracles at the end, so stay tuned. Keep in mind that these messages will not resonate with every single Pisces out there who is dealing with a Sagittarius, check your other placements for um, additional information. Go ahead and hit that like button if you find that these messages resonate well with you or if you got a message out of this. And excuse me, I am sick at the moment. So if I sound nasally, it's probably because I am. <laughs> okay, so um, also... Next week, I will be uploading these again. However, I'm only going to be doing Pisces dealing with six signs. So whoever has the most views, the most likes, okay, will be getting uploaded with an updated version. So far, Gemini is smashing it. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'll be doing Gemini for sure next week. But uh, let's see where this goes. All right. So this is going to be Pisces and Sag spirit. Please give me clarity and guidance for the Pisces dealing with a Sag. You are being shady. Watch out. Shit could get ugly. So also keep in mind that these messages can go vice versa. This could be for you. This could be for Sag. All right. Take what fits. Leave the rest. You need food in your belly. Blah, blah, blah. You need food in your belly. Eat a fucking taco. You or have you eaten? You're acting like a big ass baby. So somebody here could be hungry. Um, somebody here may also be being shady. So um, be careful. Or if this is you, knock it off. No. <laughs> All right, let's get two more messages. Um, you are going through some tough shit. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass, tired ass up and handle it. All right, so somebody here may be going through some tough shit. Everybody has their turn. All right, it's called karma. What goes around comes around. So I'm not saying that whatever you're going through is like you're deserving of it. You know, you might be, you might not be. This may be Sag, all right? There's somebody here could be being shady. Shame and regret, those are all just bullshit. Forgive and let that shit go. So somebody here needs to forgive and just let some shit go. Somebody here is holding on to shame, regret, or some type of guilt. Um, <clears throat> so somebody did do something that could be the reason for this. Um, that somebody's going through some hard times, all right? Somebody here may be hungry. They're acting like a big-ass baby, all right? Somebody here may also be being shady. Take what fits, leave the rest. So let's move on. Um, what messages do you have from the hidden truth? Finding out the truth crushed me. So there may have been some type of truth that was found out. This may have really hurt you. This may have hurt Sag. I don't know. I hid who I really am from you. So somebody here may have been, you know, hiding who they really are. Damn. Every time I get that card, that makes me feel like somebody here may be, like, in the closet or some shit like that. Or somebody here, I don't know. And, oh, I love you. So somebody here does love, you know, either you love this Sag or the Sag loves you. All right. Um, somebody here is hiding who they really were. Somebody here found out. Somebody may have found out the truth and that shit crushed them. Somebody here is afraid to contact you. Or you're afraid to contact this person. I'm not available. Somebody here may, yeah. Exactly. I hid who I really am. You know, somebody here may be in another commitment or with somebody else at, at this time or whenever you guys were in contact. I don't know. All right. So let's see. Let's go to the tarot. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, what messages do you have for the Pisces dealing with a Sagittarius, please? Pisces, dealing with Sag. What messages do you have? First card out is going to be for overall energy for Pisces. Second card out will be overall energy for Sag. So overall energy, please, for Pisces, the ones dealing with a Sagittarius. Seven of Wands wanting to show itself. So you may be standing your ground. Um, 
Yeah, I feel like somebody here is standing their ground. Pisces overall energy, please. The one's dealing with a Saji. Pisces ego. All right, so breaking those chains. The illusion of being trapped. Accept responsibility for your situation and make choices that support your path to happiness. Addictions are unhealthy habits. So you may have been breaking free. <coughs> breaking free of some some type of unhealthy habits here all right show me saggy's overall energy or this is sagittarius keep in mind the roles can always be reversed all right show me saggy's overall energy the ones dealing with a pisces please saggy's overall energy please Page of Wands, so Aries, excuse me y'all, <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sag, um, you could be dealing with someone who's a little bit younger, doesn't have to be, or this person just may be, you know, very childlike, um, enthusiastic, optimistic, creative, and patient, New news of exciting opportunities, allow your creativity to soar, do things that fuel your passion, and finish what you start. So Sagittarius here may have like some sense of optimism, a spark here. Somebody here may be wanting to send a message, take some type of action. Maybe they're planning something. All right. Ace of Wands. Maybe someone's planning some type of a new passionate new start. So in your emotions, Pisces, I feel like um, you also have a fire that's been lit. An amazing opportunity. Be bold and courageous be, and optimistic. Now is the time to take action. Do what you're passionate about. So I feel like you're breaking free of whatever felt, whatever illusion had you feeling trapped and bound, whatever, you know, whether this was literal or this is the illusion, there we go, I'm like hiding my fingers, okay, the illusion of being trapped, either way, you're breaking free of this, okay, there is a passionate new start here coming in for you, um, within your emotions, all right, show me Saggy, what's in Saggy's emotions, please? Wise Counselor, so Tauren, they may have Taurus in their moon sign, doesn't have to be. Unity with a spiritually minded community, ask the divine for help and trust the answers will come. Compare traditional methods with new ideas and see which works best for you. So this person may be, um, you know, seeking out some type of counsel, um, comparing like old belief systems with, you know, modern idea, modern <laughs> modernized ideas okay unity with a spiritually minded community so this person may be like researching trying to figure out something here <coughs> sorry guys all right tell me pisces next move please what is pisces next move damn ace of cups you got some you got some new beginnings coming in for you, Pisces. All right, blessings, blessings on blessings on blessings. Um whoa, how's that song go? I'm way up, I feel blessed. <laughs> yeah. I'm way up, I feel blessed. Okay. So this is a beautiful a beautiful new emotional experience, a romantic relationship or deep friendship, awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual insights, a love letter, and a new home. All right. I'm way up, I feel blessed. <laughs> okay, so you may have broken free of some type of addictions or toxic habits, traits, um, illusions, self, self-imposed self entrapment here. Whatever this is that you had to break free from, it could have even been ego. All right, I feel like that's bringing in new beginnings for you, passionate new beginnings, all right? Way, I just keep getting that way up, I feel blessed. The star card underneath that, and then the nine of cups. Yeah, it's like getting this is talks about your wishes, healing, you know, uh, wishes coming true. All right, wishing on a star, nine of cups. Also, again, wish fulfillment. Okay, everything that you want is coming true. You're happy. Oh, all right, show me Saji. What is their next move? Page 
of Pentacles. So again, I seen the Page of Swords earlier. Their next move, this person, I definitely feel like they want to take some type of action, send you a message. Scholarly, uh, scholarly, cheerful, dependable, mischievous, time to get to work. An excellent opportunity presents itself. Happy news about your career, promotion, scholarships, and a new area of study. So maybe this person is, you know, a wise counselor, counselor with this page of pentacles. Maybe this person is like seeking out, trying to find some type of like, um, like they're trying to get some type of information. Maybe they're going back to school. Maybe they're taking an extra course or a class or, you know, um, you know, they're doing something here. And they're optimistic about it. This person has a plan and I feel like they're trying to further their knowledge in some aspect here. All right, transformation. So you may have been through a transformation. This is your intentions. Maybe you want to transform a situation, a significant life experience that requires changes to be made. Powerful and often unexpected revelations, breaking free of procrastination and releasing old belief systems. So Pisces, you may be, um, this is under your intention sector. So Scorpio energy, I feel like, um, <coughs> um, sorry. Um, yeah, I feel like you're breaking free of procrastination. All right. You're going after something. You're letting go of like old belief systems or whatever. You're letting go. This is like letting go of the past, you know. Whatever energy had you feeling stuck, you're transforming that. You're transmuting that. Blessings on blessings on blessings, okay? Uh, you broke free of something here. You may also be receiving some type of a blessing here that's going to allow you to transform your life. Show me Saji's intentions. Three of Cups. I've seen that in the very beginning, too. So this person may want to reconcile. They want to come together, celebrate. News worth celebrating joyful announcements like engagements, weddings, pregnancies, or graduation. A time of gratitude, gratitude, close uh, communities or chosen families. So again, with this wise counselor, somebody here may be wanting to, like, I feel like somebody here is trying to, like, further their knowledge, trying to gain some type of wisdom here in order to to like reunite to celebrate i do feel like somebody here has a lot of love for somebody hmm. show me the outcome between these two let me know if this is resonating y'all i feel like i'm not connecting but every time i do think that it's like you guys feel the opposite, so I'm going to still post this no matter what, but anyways, Knight of Wands reverse, so, uh, and Knight of Swords, wow, so if somebody was being a player, you know, this is like the player card, but in the reverse, it's like, I don't want to be a player no more, this is fire energy, air energy is here, I feel like somebody's rushing in to speak some type of truth. So in the upright, this is um, passionate, confident, charismatic, restless, events that require immediate action. Trust your instinct. Stay focused in a passionate relationship. So maybe somebody's going to come rushing in, um, wanting to speak some type of truth. They're very decisive, focused, driven, defensive. Events that move with great speed. Choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional. Set in or unexpected changes. Review your options carefully. So maybe somebody's going to rush in and speak something, but, uh, let's keep going. I'm getting the sense that, like, if somebody, um, King of Cups, yeah, I was, that's kind of what I was feeling. If somebody here... This is almost like somebody coming correct, in a sense, okay? And release. Hmm. Somebody doesn't want to release the other. Or, yeah. Okay, I said it. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. 
And so, wow, Seven of Swords reverse. So in the past, there may have been some type of competition that somebody didn't see clearly here. Somebody may have had rose colored glasses on. Sorry, I'm trying to get comfy over here. All right. Um, King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is trustworthy, honorable, devoted, cautious, someone you can completely trust, a situation that is safe. Solid romantic relationship, hidden but well-intentioned emotions, a charitable benefactor and seeing a counselor. So, and then release in the reverse. It's like somebody here does not want to release something. Somebody here may have been deceptive or shady in the past, but they got caught being a player. But I feel like somebody here is trying to, like, change their ways and they don't want to let something go. They're trying to gain, like, the information, the knowledge in order to, um, and this person, it's like almost like they know what they want, you know? Like, they're very focused, they're very decisive, they're very driven, okay? And I don't see this person rushing it. This is like rushing him, you know, passionately for a quick time, a good time, not a long time, kind of being impulsive, you know, just like. But this person is coming in as the King of Cups, is what it looks like, okay? I don't know why I just said that like that. That was weird. <coughs> yeah, they don't want they Okay. Endings that lead to new beginnings. The need to release situations and people that hold you back in spiritual transformation. Somebody may have been trying to avoid a transformation. Or they don't want something to change is what I'm getting. I feel like you're you're intending to transform. You're breaking free of whatever this whatever this shit is that kept you fucking feeling trapped and stuck and bound. You're breaking free from that. Okay? You're 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 having new beginnings in your life and your intentions is to trans to to go through this transformation like you're not scared of it you're you're that's your intentions you're like all right come on transformation let's go you know because you know that you know new beginnings are around the corner as soon as you choose to transform and break free of a situation that kept you feeling trapped and bound If someone was being shady, Seven of Swords in the past, I don't feel like they're going to be like that anymore. Let's see. Can we get three cards on this reading, Spirit? Please. I do kind of want to clarify that I hid who I am from you. Just because, uh, you know... We don't need nothing hidden up in this motherfucker. I don't really think anything is because Seven of Swords is in the reverse. Whatever was hidden, it's found out. Whatever shady deceptiveness, okay? And it could have been just because somebody was out there like being reckless, being a player. But I feel like somebody here has made a, made a choice and they have a lot of love for you. They don't want to let you go. That's what I'm getting. Period. Maybe there was some things that you had to break free from. Karmic relationship. Wow. Okay, so... Fleeing triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. So you may feel like this is a karmic relationship again with the photograph. I feel like somebody here is definitely missing you. Right? I don't know if this person was in a karmic relationship or you see this person as a karmic. The dragonfly. Be lighthearted. Finding out things coming to light. Light. Adapt. Change. And heal. Okay? So there may be some things that you have found out that you had to heal from. You had to adapt, change, and heal. Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power with the sword and the rose. And healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. These two cards fell out too, but I put them back. So again, um, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. I feel like that's what you did. You broke free from whatever this was and you mended your own fucking heart you sewed that shit back together <laughs> look at her she's like literally sewing her own shit back together like <laughs> all right yeah okay and then the butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase here heal, heal your inner child and growth so somebody here may have had to heal their inner child here wounds you know maybe somebody's working on that or this person is okay 
Um, let's go over here and see. What is this I hid who I really am from you? Three cards, please. Seven of Cups. This person may have had other options that they were confused about. Maybe there was something that they were mourning, but they're not now. With the Five of Cups in reverse, like maybe the, there was something that they were still mourning over, but I feel like they've gotten over that. Could have been something like in their past childhood or something surrounding children even. And temperance, yeah, they've, they're, they've gotten over something. They've healed something here with this temperance. Yeah, this person was hiding the fact, I hid who I really am from you, that they had other options and that they were... <laughs> it is her butthurt. This person may have been butthurt over something in their past, maybe even a karmic relationship from their past, okay? Could even have been someone at a distance. We have Sagittarius energy coming out here as well. The Sagittarius, like, possibly had to, you know, get over some type of an emotional loss surrounding... What is this Seven of Cups? They were confused about something. This person may have been confused about other options. Yeah, Three of Cups. They were confused about a third party. Who betrayed them, possibly, that they seen as their soulmate and left them out in the cold. Somebody here may have had abandonment issues. Somebody here got betrayed, stabbed in the back by someone who they were in a relationship or who, whom they loved. Could have been this third party energy and they hid that from you. That's why this person was holding back their time, energy, and resources from you. But this person does love you. With this King of Cups and I love you and that's the fucking truth and King of Wands. Alright. Sagittarius. That's the truth. Okay. So this person does want to take action. They're very passionate about you. Seven of Swords and the Lovers. Yeah, this person was lying. They had somebody else. Could have been an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Could have been someone who was younger, All right? This person may have been someone who was wealthy or had money or some shit like that, okay? Could have been somebody at work as well. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. If this reading resonates, let me know. Please smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.